So this is the day before my fast. I just wanted to get some thoughts out and share some things with you and everything I ate the day before the fast. A little editing, watching some YouTube videos and just chillaxing for Mother's Day. But I am getting ready to show you what I'm eating. I requested something simple. Simplicity is all it is for me. It's not that serious. Um, so yeah, um, hubby is making me some bacon and some sausage. And I requested some something from artists that I enjoy and it gotta be milk just a little bit so you guys shall see that uh, I'm gonna share that with you guys and this will be on my Monday's vlog in the beginning of everything um, so you can see what I ate on Sunday before I start this fast so I'm trying to get all of it I had two good bowls of um <laughs> two good bowls of um my um, Rocky Roll last night I'm trying to get rid of it tonight okay two nights to get rid of it so yeah all right guys see y'all in a little bit all right guys so this is my breakfast this is all i wanted it is a caramel and pecan danish from audis and it's so the bomb especially if you nook it for like a couple seconds and um y'all know i'm trying to get all my eating in which is mother's day because i'm going to start my fast tomorrow i got two sausages two bacon and i'm just drinking my flavored water I'm not doing too too much and later on, I asked Hubby to make some, just some corn, some fried chicken, and some mac. Something real simple, a old school, I would call it like a hood meal. Like that was a hood delicacy meal. <laughs> but that's what I had a taste for. So I'm having that. You guys will see that later. Um, and I'm going to have my Rocky Road to finish off my night and get back into the gym and do me. So yeah, just sharing my Mother's Day and what I'm eating because I already vlogged yesterday um, and I shared that with you on Saturday. So you guys will see this as well. All right, guys. My mom-in-law is, um, she part of uh, the ones who did the cooking for Mother's Day, a big Mother's Day dinner. I guess it's like some pasta salad or whatever. She brought all this pork roast, ham, mashed potatoes, cakes, pound cake, strawberry cake, and some peanut butter cakes from church. And, I don't know what this is, more pork roast. <laughs> and, I don't know what's in here, more ham, mashed potatoes, <laughs> and a roll, and some cornbread. Um, yeah, this is a lot of food that we are probably not going to eat because hubby is cooking me some chicken tonight. And, yeah, I hate seeing stuff go to waste. I wish I had somebody I could feed. Let me see if my cousin can come get some of this stuff. Yeah, let me see if she can come get some of this stuff because this is ridiculous. I know they don't like to waste stuff and mom always look out for us, but we ain't going to be eating all this. Plus, him cooking dinner tonight. <sighs> this is the struggle. I'm glad tomorrow I ain't got to think about food. It's just my fruits and my water. Eating and trying to think about eating is a struggle. It really is, y'all. I'm so serious. Like, this is ridiculous. You have to think of what you want. And you got so many options. And I noticed when I was doing the OMAD um, IF before, it was like no stress on me because... I didn't eat nothing but just one time a day. So food is like really a big part of our lives in America. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like to the point where we're overthinking it because it's too many options because we eat so unhealthy. Guys, um, I'm sitting here with my big calendar and trying to um, just remind myself and make an actual schedule of what how i'm gonna load so it's gonna be a total of eight videos straight and um in this video you will have seen before my flush and then after my flush which will be the um the uh what have you know how much compaction i had from not using the bathroom after the flush so early in the morning i'm going to um weigh myself once i get up because throughout the night i will be flushing myself from the epsom salt flush on sunday night all the way through until morning and then monday i will do after the flush which will also be my first day one weigh-in um so you can see how much was removed and then on tuesday you will be seeing day one result so it's going to start with the beginning of last video what my weigh-in was and what it is when i woke up tuesday morning type of thing so yeah i think that's how it's gonna work i'm trying to figure this loading thing out just sitting here thinking about 
I need some, really need some more supportive, support, uh, supportive shoes in the gym. But that's going to be something to motivate me to push, push, push with this um, fast and to push with working out and being really just a mind over matter, mental matter, mental thing to push me through because I want to see the 250s like soon. Um, so once I hit in the 250 range, I'm thinking 255 is where I would go and treat myself to a pair of new sneakers. I'm thinking New Balance. Um, yeah, I want some New Balances because they're nice and wide and they do good on your feet for working out and walking and all that good stuff. So I want some New Balances because my other ones that I've had for years, and I think we bought them when we first got here. Yeah, I had them for about three years, and we end. I end up walking and doing stuff in the house during renovations, and they got really messed up, and they're not as supportive anymore. I need a new pair, so that's gonna be my first um, thing that I purchased for me as a uh, gift to myself for doing so good and reaching the two fifty five mark or two. No, I'm gonna say two fifty two mark because. I was 292 when I started, so my, when I had the 252 mark, that would be 40 pounds down, and yeah, that's where I want, I want to hit that mark, once I hit that mark, I feel like um, that's a good good range to, to reward myself, and I'm going to take you guys with me, it'll probably be a separate video of me shopping for some new shoes for my journey, so 252.4 will be my mark for me rewarding myself, and that's the first thing I want to buy me. I have a lot of workout clothes. I don't need to buy those, and I will show you guys though a lot that I cannot fit. So I will share those with you guys and basically it would just be sneakers that I need to buy and maybe a few tops, but not many at all. But I'm so excited about this journey. I'm excited because I know it's a good thing. I know I'm going to feel better. I'm going to just everything is just going to be so much better for me. And I'm excited about that. So I don't want to keep rambling. I'm just sitting here trying to come up with a master plan. I just did a um, uh, a little video, not a video, but a photo of all of my measurements because I'm going to put that in this video as well. So you guys can see that. Or maybe I, I think I might put it on the first day video i don't know you guys will see if you're following the journey you're not gonna miss nothing i just say i want to do something but then i find something there's a better way to do it so that's why i might switch it up so that's why i hate saying stuff i just like to do it so you guys will see whatever i decide you guys will be informed of all things of this journey so huh, all right guys dang he made that already shit he wasn't playing okay all right all right hubby come through Okay, hubby, come through. Thank you, Naya. Wow. Soon as I was done recording, Naya came in with my food. I am chill, relaxing, still stuffy. Look at that bag of tissues. But this is my dinner. This is what I told him I wanted. So he fried me some chicken, made me some um, croissants, some Velveeta shells and cheese, some corn. I got a ginger ale, some ranch. Oh, y'all need the stuff? Come on, ginger ale ranch and a Mother's Day. I don't know what it is, but I shall open it and see what it is. Why are you smiling? Here go my baby. I'm hungry. You hungry? <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me uh, get into this food. I'm so glad he did it at 5 o'clock because I have to take the flush. I text him and I said, babe, please, can you have the food done by 6? And it is 5.04 and I'm getting ready to eat so I can take my Epsom salt flush. All right, guys. 5.30, I'm done eating, <clears throat> so I'm going to wait about 30, 45 minutes before I eat my ice cream, and then that is it for tonight. I'm not eating anything else. I'm going to eat my ice cream with my last piece of Danish because I don't want that looking in my face when I'm doing my fast. So, yep, it is 5, 5.30, see at the top, 5.30, could y'all see that? 5.36, I'm done eating. So, I want to eat my ice cream and my, oh, excuse me, and my um, pastry before 6.30, and then by 7.30, 6.30, 7.30, by 8.30, I want to take my flush, and then I'm mix it up, show y'all that, drink it down on camera, and then I'm going to wake up in the morning and show you my first day one after flush slash day one of my fast. 32 this is the rest of my rocky road that i'm about to devour and also my um 
caramel cake. Yes, I ate the whole thing today. Ridiculous. But these things will definitely tempt me. Okay. So, about to devour them. And then, you guys shall see me mix my flush and take it. By um, 6 or 7.30. By 8.30, I'll be taking the flush. And that'll be the end of my day. And I'll be back and forth to the bathroom. I already know. Well, hello, my revivers. I thank you all for who have been encouraging me on this journey. Today is Mother's Day, and this is all that I've eaten. This is something I wanted to share with y'all because this is it. Tomorrow starts my day one of my fasting, but tomorrow you're going to stay tuned for my weigh-in, my measurements, how I do my Epsom salt flush, and I have an item that I want to try on to see how it changes over the six days. First three days, fruit and water. Second three days, only water. Stay tuned.